I bought some books today. <laughs> Even though I literally just did a book haul on my channel. But we won't talk about that. Hello beautiful people of the internet. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah if you're new here and I'm so excited you've joined me today. So I am hanging solo today. My parents are out of town, my husband's out of town, and I'm by myself. <laughs> so I've decided that today, today is Saturday, and I'm going to go do like a bunch of different things that I don't normally just go out and do. We have a lot to do on our to-do list today. I really want to go book shopping at some point. I want to go to the library. I also need to go get groceries. I need to do a few other errands and I might hit a few yard sales on the way because there's a lot of yard sales around here and one of my favorite things is to go yard selling. So I might bring you along with me when I do that. I just thought it would be a fun day for us to hang out and for me to take you along with me and just see what I do today. Plus, I am looking to buy some books. I'm looking for a few specific books, so I would definitely will show you what I get. Also, I have to tell you about the book that I'm currently listening to right now because I'm obsessed with it. So also don't mind my vacuum back there. I am going to clean house today too. <laughs> a couple days ago, I picked up First to Die by James Patterson. And I've never read anything by James Patterson before. I've seen him everywhere though, and I'm sure you have too. But Gabby, with gabbing about books here on YouTube, she talked about how much she loved this series from him. And I picked it up because she said that the chapters were short and it was super fast paced. And that's what I needed right then. So I picked it up and oh my god guys we're doing james patterson a full disservice by not talking more about this series and it basically follows this woman's murder club who get together after hours and they try and solve these high profile cases this group of women all work in crime in some way shape or form and they all just come together because they're friends and they actually, in the first book, they're working on the same case and they just get together and try and solve it. And I loved it. Oh my gosh, I cried. I cried. It's literally like a criminal minds sort of thing. It's like an NCIS, CIS in a book. Like it's just that fast paced and it's, it's looking at the investigation side of things and I ate it up. So I'm currently listening to the second book called Second Chance. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> this one's a little heavier. It, it, it is heavier for me. It's about this shooting that takes place in a church, but I guess it, they were having like a children's choir there, and so the victim was actually a child. And so it, it's kind of hard to read about that, like a mass shooting that involves children. But, um, that most of the action takes place in the very beginning so it, it, it's kind of it's over by now like now we're just full-blown investigation now and I am eating it up I'm just I'm loving this series so much and there's so many books in the series I said all that to say this please stop sleeping on James Patterson because we're doing him a huge disservice by not talking more about that series okay
Okay, so as you saw, I did quite a few things today. One of the main things I did was I went to our local used bookstore. It's kind of like a used book warehouse sort of thing. It's called McKay's and I found quite a few books there. So let me show you those. I cannot go to McKay's without stopping into the cozy mystery section. So I found four of those and the first one I found was Wicked Weaves by Joyce and Jim Levine. The only reason I picked this one up was because this is a Renaissance Fair mystery series and I mean do I have to say anything else? The next cozy mystery is Cookie Dough or Die by Virginia Lau. If you've watched my recent book hauls, I already own like books two through four of this series and I was missing book one and I finally found it today so I can finally get started on this series. At the beginning of the video I told you how obsessed I am with the Woman's Murder Club series by James Patterson and I was looking through the mystery section and I found the third book. And the third book is called Third Degree. And again, this is the third book of the Women's Murder Club series by James Patterson. This is such a phenomenal series. I'm almost halfway through book two and absolutely adore it. This one was literally 75 cents. So I knew I had to just grab it. I will still probably listen to it audibly even though I own the physical copy but I will probably listen to it while I read it as well. The next cozy mystery is one that I look at literally every time I go into McKay's and I finally bought it today and that is Murder at the Blueberry Festival. And again, I really couldn't tell you why I bought this. I just literally look at it every time I go in there and it's just the cutest little cover. And I am all about any kind of festival, like a blueberry festival, a strawberry festival, any kind of small town festivals I am here for. Next book I picked up was The Last Invitation by Darby Kane. And I recently read another book by Darby Kane. I can't remember the name of it right now. I'll pop up a picture of it right now. And I gave that one two stars. But I didn't give it two stars because of the writing. I gave it two stars because of the ending and the epilogue. Because <laughs> I just... I, they, she had a good thing going and I just did not like how it ended. But I did enjoy her writing while I was reading that one. So I saw this one and it was only $6. So I figured that I might give her another try. The next book I picked up was a rom-com and that is Bad Bachelor by Stephanie London. I've never heard about this one before but the cover was just so stinking cute and when I read the back I knew I had to have it. This one is following our main character Reed and Reed is an eligible bachelor typical ladies man womanizer all the things and he has a lot of money and so he strolls into this library one day and the library's owner Darcy is kind of having trouble keeping her library afloat so she might need a little help from the bad bachelor again I've never seen this one talked about but it sounded like a good time. The next book that I picked up is actually a middle grade graphic novel and that is Smaller Sister by Maggie Edkins Willis. Again, I've only heard about this one one other time and I think Gwen from Gwendolyn Kinslinger on here on YouTube talk about this one and she said it was super cute. So I was intrigued and picked it up. Okay guys that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for spending the day with me and seeing everything that I did this Saturday. Again I just recently did a big book haul on my channel so that's why this book haul was so small. <laughs> I am definitely going to go on a book buying band at least until the summer because I don't think I need any more books at this current moment. So if you made it this far into the video please leave me a I know blueberry emoji for this cute cozy mystery okay thank you so much for watching my friends please like this video and subscribe if you want to stick around and i will see you next time bye